nobody ever asks. Nobody ever asks. How should we respond to Israel's brutal treatment of the Palestinians for the last 75 years? Nobody ever asks, how should Hamas respond to the IDF that has killed tens of thousands, thousands of Palestinians? Nobody ever asks, how should the Palestinians respond to the hundreds of deaths in the West Bank that has occurred this year at the hands of the army and at the hands of the settlers, including the deaths of children? as documented again by Israeli journalists. Those questions are not raised. The questions are always, how do we respond to Hamas? Well, that's a fair question, but there's an equally fair question that's never asked, which is how should Hamas and the Palestinians in general respond to Israel and to the historical uh, expulsion and mass killings? Now. October 7th was not the first massacre in or near Gaza. In 1953, the Israelis massacred Palestinians in Gaza. In 1956, again they did. One of the founders of Hamas, and again, I'm not here as a spokesperson or any kind of an apologist. I'm just saying the facts. There was an eight-year-old boy who watched his uncle being killed by the Israelis in a massacre of civilians that was again documented by Israeli historians. He then becomes the first leader of Hamas. He was, became a pediatrician and he said, I couldn't sleep for many months after I saw my uncle being killed. It left a wound in my heart that can never heal. I'm telling you a story and I'm almost crying. This sort of action can never be forgotten. They planted hate in our hearts. There was a lot of hatred, vicious hatred that went into what happened on October the 7th? Where did it come from? 50 years ago, Hamas didn't even exist. Now, in terms of the history of Hamas and Gaza, I just ask you to consult the sources. Hamas won. Again, I'm not here to apologize. I'm just telling you what happened. There was a free election held in Palestine, um, I think 2005 or 2003 which, according to international observers, including the Jimmy Carter Center, was the freest election ever held in the Arab, any Arab country, Hamas happened to win. Why did they win? Because by that time, the PLO had totally discredited itself as corrupt, as oppressive, and as a handmaiden to the Israeli occupation. So the Palestinians chose this militant group, you know, and then... Israel and, and the United States tried to support the PLO in displacing Hamas, and Hamas defeated them. And then Hanna was put, uh, uh, Gaza was put on this blockade. So I'm saying, without going into all the details, and I could speak for four hours here, I'm just telling you, there's a whole different view of history and what happened there and where Hamas 